Welcome back today is the second class of our digital fashion illustration course. In today's class, we are going to learn how to draw a female fashion croquis in Adobe Photoshop. To draw a croquis in Photoshop, you'll need a croquis template. You can easily find one on Google. Once you have it, place it on your canvas. Now, let's rename the layer for better organization. I'll rename mine to template. After renaming the template layer, make sure to lock it so it doesn't move while we are working. To lock it, just click on the little lock icon in the layers panel. Now, add a new layer above the template layer. Rename this layer to body outline. We'll be using the pen tool to draw the croquis. To create curves, click and drag to get a smooth curved line. If you want to make a straight line, press Alt and click on the anchor point. This will break the curve and allow you to make a straight line. If you make a mistake, press Ctrl plus Z to undo or press Escape to start a new path. The outlines you create will be saved as a path, and you can find it in the Paths panel here or just go to Window and Path. Just like layers, you can rename your path and even add new ones. To turn the path into a solid line, select the Brush tool, adjust the size, and then click on the stroke path with brush in the paths panel. Once done, to remove the blue path lines, click on the empty space in the paths panel and your croquis outline is ready. After the body outline is ready, to create facial features, take a face template from Google and paste it onto your canvas. To resize it, press Ctrl plus T. You may not be able to see where to place the face since it's not transparent, so to make it like butter paper, change the mode from normal to multiply. Now you can see where to place it. And after positioning it, hit enter. You can erase the parts of the outline that you don't need. Now take the pen tool again. And start outlining the facial features. Once the outlines are done, like before, use the brush tool, adjust the size. And click on stroke path with brush. Use the brush tool to draw small parts like the nose, eyes, and lips. Now, here's a useful trick. If you click and hold shift while clicking again in another spot, Photoshop will draw a straight line between those two points. 
This will make it much easier to trace the straight paths and curves too. Start tracing by using this method. Take your time with this, as accuracy is key. In the same way, you can add shoes, bags, and other details. Now, let's start coloring. Add two new layers. Name them body color and hair. And place them below the outline layer. Use the magic wand tool and select all the outer areas that you don't want to color. As you are seeing when we select the outer area, it's only select the outline because our path is not closed. Here in the neck, we have to close it. And in the same way we have to close the face part. Now, again select the outer area. Right click and select inverse to select the body. Take the brush tool and choose a skin color. Increase the brush size, start coloring on the body color layer. Then, for the hair, select the hair layer and use a gray tone to color the hair. If the color goes outside the lines, don't worry, we'll erase it later. Use the eraser tool to clean up any unwanted color. We already taught two methods for shading in class 1. I'm going to use my favorite one. Let's add a new layer above the body color layer.
and name it shading. Remember to always name your layers. Take the brush tool and while pressing Alt, eyedropper tool stared show to select the body color. Now, choose a darker tone for shading. Decrease the brush flow to 5%. Right click and select a soft round brush. To ensure the shading doesn't go outside the body, hold Ctrl and click on the body color layer to make a selection. Now, start shading. Use a lighter tone for highlights and add them the same way. After everything is done, your croquis is ready. Let's save the file. Go to File, click Save As, and save it on your computer. Make sure to save it as a Photoshop PST file so that you can make changes later. I'm going to save mine on the desktop. If you save it as a ping, you won't be able to edit it again, so always save it as a PST first. That's it for today's class.